Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess every day, trusting patterns over promises, trusting your gut, speaking your truth, silently observing behaviors, trump words. All right, Pisces, let's see what magic you are wheeling and dealing this week. Queen of Heaven, Rising Sun. Is that a song? <laughs> Black Hole Sun. In my life. I don't know those words. <laughs> Till we all just disappear. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? And wash away the pain, black old sun. Won't you come? Won't you come? Queen of Heaven, blessing from the divine Empress of the Skies. Oh, Pisces. Pisces. Divine Feminine Energy is present in your life right now. Blessing from the Divine Empress of the Skies. <sighs> this is a sign of manifestations to come in. This is also a sign of whatever has fallen away or is currently falling away from you. There is, of course, going to be something that takes its place. If there's a mindset, a pattern, a limiting belief you've been living in, a group of people that you are releasing, a habit that you know is hurting you more than helping you, a fear of speaking, standing in your truth, holding yourself back, whatever is falling away, maybe it's towery, whatever is falling away is going to be replaced by a blessing from the divine empress of the skies. Because you are embodying some type of empress energy that is allowing for the full matrix of divine feminine creation and destruction to take place. Rising sun, the divine solar child reborn. The empress and the child, the mother and the child, Pisces, God. Divine Solar Child, Sun, Wish Fulfillment, Truth, Clarity. This gives big death and rebirth, tower and rising from the ashes, a rebirth of you, a renewal of you. Look at their headdresses. Activated feathers protecting the crown, antlers protecting the crown. Both have orbs of light right? Green is associated with heart chakra as well. You are prepared to receive Pisces if you are the if you are somebody who's doing the work and I mean like doing that real real deep shit where you shatter and you crumble and everything that you know the truth the reality that you once thought was true the people that you once thought were going to be around forever when it all starts crumbling around you that means you've shifted into a vibration where those things, those people, those mindsets, those fears, those limiting behaviors of yourself, it's no longer aligned with the higher vibration you're standing in. <coughs> you are both the Empress, the Divine Mother, and the Divine Solar Child reborn. You are both. You are all, if we're being honest. There is no separation. You are oneness. Allowing the crumble, allowing the towers to crumble and fall are putting you in a position where there's now space and room for your rebirth to take place. And that rebirth is going to result in continuing ex a continuation of the space that has been made empty, being filled with aligned people, opportunities, healing, options, mother and son. Mother and son. Okay, let's get into this. Bottom of the deck. We're going to keep this too. Divine guardian. Protection of the winged mother. Mother and son. Mother and son. Mother and child. It's mother and child. 
you are the mother and the child and what's happening right now is that you are the one birthing this new you you're divinely protected you're divinely connected allow yourself to believe that you're safe and that the protection is with you at all times all right let's get tarot Pisces, thank you so much for being here. Can you hit that like button? Thank you to everyone who showed up in your light, in your truth, in your discomfort this weekend at our two-day Renewing You Healing Retreat. I cannot, I cannot emphasize how grateful I am for all of you and all of your insights, all of your wisdom, all of your vulnerable shares, all of your support for one another. Thank you. Lovers, three of pentacles. Okay, you have a choice, Pisces. The choice is building anew, three of pentacles. This is rebuilt. Building anew under truth, clarity, being fully exposed, being fully vulnerable, stripping down, taking the armor off. The armor being like, I want to be a good girl or a good boy, so I'm just going to see the right things. I just want to be a good boy, a good boy, good girl. I don't want to rock the boat. Um... I don't want to ruffle feathers or trigger anyone, so I'm going to stay silent. It's stripping the armor down and off so that you can stand in the truth of the sunlight above you. Again, protected Archangel Raphael. This is your choice, though. I think that you've already done this, Pisces, or you're getting the awakening now of like, I need to strip down. I need to be more authentic. This is Gemini energy, so this has might have to do with your throat chakra as well. Communicating. What is it that you're rebuilding? Three of Pentacles, also associated with the Empress. Three, three. The Empress is card number three. Anything is possible. Eyes on you, Pisces. The eyes are on you. People are watching you. Stand up for yourself. Stand in your truth. Building a new world. Building a new light. If you are hoping to attract a romantic partner aligned with this vibration... That is 100% on the table. Are you fully in the vibration? Are you fully integrating that vibration? Are you fully accepting the call from inside the house? Wow. Okay. Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Pisces, listen, I'm, I'm about to get into sister mode for a minute. Whoever the, f whoever, whoever is lying to you, whoever was lying to you, let me tell you something. They're lying to themselves, Pisces. And only take that if that resonates. You know who this is if this was someone. Whoever was lying to you is lying to themselves. You turn your back on it. You receive downloads, self-care, emotional regulation, more intuitive psychic gifts, and a gift from the divine. Somebody lied to you, not to be like a drama, but it is what it is. Someone lied to you or presented themselves in a way that was not, or they are presenting themselves in a way that is not an appropriate reflection of what's actually happening. Happening. Swords. If you think about swords as words, we trust patterns over promises. Trust the patterns of the person, not the words of the person. This could be a person this could be an industry. This could be an establishment. This could be a governmental structure. This could be the media. This could be your neighbor. This could be a past lover that you just knew, that inkling, right? That intuition. You just knew. Whoever this was, you turned your back. And the universe is like, now, divine downloads. Now, greater insights. Now, you are the divine empress of the skies because you turned your back on that bullshit, whatever the fuck that is. Whatever and whoever. Bye. Ace of Pentacles. That person wants that, but that person won't get that. You get that. This is your time now because you're stepping in. You are birthing a new you. You are the mother. You are the child. You are protected. You are birthing a new you, building a new you, building a new way, trusting in self. I love this. Getting me heated. One more. Pisces, please hit that like button if this is you. It's okay to be tired. Give yourself a pat on the back because all of these battles were not for nothing. All of this mental agony was not for nothing. You are not alone. You are seen. Your trials, your tribulations, your heartbreak is seen. Your strength in spirit is seen. Please don't stop. Please keep standing, Pisces. You are here to do something bigger. 
You are here to do something bigger. Something bigger is being born for you. Oh! <laughs> Say it, Pisces. I am the Empress. I am the creator of my reality. I am the Divine Feminine. And that Divine Feminine is both creation and destruction. Get these clowns and these fears out of your energy. You are here for much more than that. You are here for so much more than that. You are birthing a new you. You are receiving a gift from heaven. There is a blessing coming to you for what you have committed to. Yes. Is this easy? No. Pisces, you might even, just by entering into this own light of yours, by stepping into this light, see how the light's actually highlighting uh, Queen of Heaven, Empress, Empress of the Skies? When you, and the sun is here, when you enter into this light of yours, this is likely what's happening or will happen. And I want you to take this as a pat on the back. When you step into the light, into the truth, into your ownness, you start building for you. You start trusting the divine. You are speaking on what feels right and true for you. Not because everyone told you to, because in your gut, this is what feels right for you. Not because we've been indoctrinated, because we've sat with the unraveling of what we've been told. And you're sitting in, what does this feel? When you do that for you, other people around you <laughs> are going to be triggered. And you are going to... Put on your little cloak. You are protected from the fire with this little gecko that emits that milky secretion to protect them from the heat. You are protected from the heat, Pisces. Walk through that fire. What is that fire? Is it family? Is it picking people? Is it bigger? Is it global? Is it collective consciousness? What do you need to do to stand and walk through that fire? You are protected, Pisces. You are a conduit of light. Turning your back on the conflicts, the bullshit, the gossip, low vibe. You are protected, Pisces. Build and birth this for you. Oh, <laughs> spirit. Thank you so much. You are called Pisces. You are called Pisces. The call is coming from inside the house, Pisces. You can hear it. Man, look at all the open arms. Thank you for awakening me. Thank you for showing me the light. Thank you for showing me the truth. Thank you for showing me who I really am. Thank you for reminding me. I am divine empress of the skies. I am the queen of heaven. I am the rising sun. I am the divine solar child reborn. I am the protection of the winged mother. I am the divine guardian. I am a soul having a human experience. And my human experience is through my integrity, my authentic expression of self, following what I feel to be true and good and right, following it at all costs. You're answering the call, Pisces. Divine Solar Child Reborn. You're being reborn. Hello, Pisces. You're being reborn. And I love you. I love you. Okay, Pisces. Spirit, Divine Solar Child Reborn, Rising Sun. Sun is truth, it's wish fulfillment. You are being a gift when you step into this light, wherever you are, whether you're like, I just stepped in, or I know I'm going to jump, or I'm a little scared, or maybe this is a seed planted. You're like, I don't really know what she's talking about. Come back in three months. Come back in a year. You're being reborn. You're being asked to be the divine mother. Birth and create the new you. Build that you. Stand in that you. Stand in it. Stand in it. Answer that call. Because when you do... The divine is like, yes, my child, here is your gift. Here is communion. You are in union with higher self and humanness. Your divine and humanity are meeting together. You are being guided by your ancestors and archangels. You are being 
filled with fulfillment and purpose and love. If you're waiting for love, it's in this vibration. If you're waiting for confirmation within, it's in this vibration. Man, Pisces. Too many. Slow and steady wins the race. Look at this. You are the creator. Say it, Pisces. I'm the creator of my reality. I'm connected to the divine. I have everything I need in my possession to create and live in and walk the walk of the vibration I want to be in, the timeline I want to be in. I create my reality. Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. This is so deep, Pisces. Through this rebirth, you are receiving, Six of Cups is sometimes childlike energy, nostalgia. You're receiving the, it's almost like a clearing of the energy that you're holding to get back into that natural innocence of um, pure essence a child holds. What, if you think about a child's perspective of like people and love and the world and what's important and play and being there for one another and the simplicity of it all. You're going from this divine empress to divine solar child. You are letting yourself destroy, create, to be reborn into this purified energy. And for some reason, that purified energy is either bringing you in people who are ready to invest in you. It's like really waving that, that freak flag, right? Like show your true colors, speak your real truth. Because when you do, the right aligned people are going to be there with you. These people are coming or this person is coming. This lover is coming. This tribe is coming. Or some type of stability is coming. You're building something. I think this is like what you're building inside is, is starting to be rough. Ooh. What you've been building inside is now starting to be reflected back to you. And timeline, if you're like, I don't identify with that. This is your opportunity to look around and be like, is what's being reflected back to me a mirror of, do I like what I see reflected back to me? Am I surrounded by people, lovers, patterns, um, word choice, music, content? Am I, am I surrounded by things that inspire me, lift me up, challenge me to be my most authentic self, to stand in my integrity, to advocate for me? And to pour love into others. When I look around, is that what's being mirrored back to me? Or is what's being mirrored back to me the opposite? If it's the opposite, this is your freedom pass to let it all crumble. Because when you do, you will be the mother and the child reborn into newness, mirroring back to you what it is that's inside you. Bringing you harmony, bringing you stability, bringing you a reminder of the power that you hold. Wow, this really wants to come out. We're keeping it. Okay. Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Man. Oh, man. If you are calling in love, right? Romance, friendships. It's coming. But you can't hold back. Three pentacles, knight of pentacles, four pentacles. You can't hold back anymore. You have to go all in. And it's your choice. Six cups plus that cup, that's seven cups. It's your choice. Are you going to hold yourself back or are you going to allow yourself to awaken and to be reborn? It's not easy. Towers aren't easy. Birth isn't easy, right? Ask a mom, all the moms out there, right? Birth is like an unbelievably... How my, my friends and cousins describe it, I'm like, this sounds like a grueling psychedelic journey, like a hallucinogenic experience where you like are in your body and leaving your body all at the same time. When we have rebirths of ourselves, it will also feel that way. It's so hard in the moment because you feel like I'm disoriented. I don't know which way is up. Is this, I think this is the right thing, but everything is becoming destroyed around me. Yes, that is the right thing, Pisces. Keep going. Don't stop. And if it's happening and you're ready to quit, nine of wands, you're too tired. Can you try to, can you remember that I said this? Keep, this is right. If it's all crumbling, it's right. You're on the right path. Let it crumble. It's going to show you something and you're not alone. And I'm so proud of you. Let it crumble. Let it burn. Let yourself be reborn because this rebirth, 
This is where the fulfillment is. This rebirth, this is where your tribe is. The rebirth, that's where your true love is. The rebirth is redemption and freedom and truth. The rebirth is truth. When you're vibrating in that frequency, liars, cheaters, stealers, people who are not walking in their integrity, people who are still wounded, they will not be able to walk with you. And you as the seer, you as the high priestess, you as the divine mother, you as the divine guardian, you'll be able to see it faster than you ever have before. And that's master number six, six, progress forward. Master number three, three, believe anything is possible. Oh, spirit. Pisces, please hit that like button. This is making so much sense. You are the tower you are the tower pisces this is not outside of you this is inside of you this tower is divine guardian this tower is protection of the winged mother let the tower okay what's that song let the bodies Ugh, i can't what is that song I think it was like a, I don't know, genre of music, but slasher, screaming music. Let it all hit the floor. Let the towers crumble. Let the endings end so that you can rise from the fire like the phoenix that you are. There is a crown chakra, an opening of your perspective, an opening of what you see, an opening of what you know occurring right now. You are protected though, Pisces. Pisces, you are the chosen ones. I don't fully understand why still, but we are protected. There is divine connection and protection for the Pisces energies. Maybe because you've we've lived every life as every other sign, right? And if you look at the Empress's crown for my tarot students, 12 stars, it represents all 12 zodiac signs. So even though we identify the Empress as Venusian energy and Taurus, this is Pisces shout out. She's all 12 zodiac signs too. You are all 12 zodiac signs, all 12 zodiac signs, Pisces. And 12 breaks down to three, 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 three. You are being guided by the Ascended Masters, Queen of Swords. Who do you need to cut out? This is a time to be a little, a little more ruthless, Pisces. Speak that truth. Activate your voice. Who do you need to say no to? Who do you need to say, I don't believe that to? Who do you need to say, this is actually the truth? Who do you need to say, I'm worth more? Who do you need to say, I stand in integrity, even if it makes me look crazy, even if you judge me, even if nobody likes me, I'm standing in my integrity. Who do you need to say that to? Is it yourself? I'm with you. I support you. Say the thing, Pisces. Do the thing, Pisces. Build the thing, Pisces. Let yourself be reborn, Pisces. If this is family dynamics, tower during Scorpio season right now, on top of everything that's happening in the world, let the tower fall, Pisces. Stand in your light. Speak your truth. Let yourself be reborn. The light that you emit is going to call forward the people who are ready to look at the truth in themselves, in you, honoring you in your light. You have an opportunity right now to be a leader. You're showing up as divine empress, queen of heaven, mother energy, solar child energy, divine guardian energy. You're showing up as it all. It's kind of like that three of pentacles in this deck, right? When we say... um. The three of pentacles here is like you are the student, the teacher, and the muse, right? You are the student. You are the teacher. You are the muse. You are the student. You are the teacher. You are the muse. You are the mother. You are the child. You are the guardian. You are the creator. You are the creation. And you are the protection. You are source. I'm like deep. Pisces, are you with me? Can we speak this? Can we go into oneness with this? Are you with me? Divine intervention. Justice will prevail. Mm. Truth will prevail. The scales will be balanced. 
You are divinely, Pisces say, I am divinely connected. I'm divinely protected. I can create the world that I want to live in. I can create the environment I want to live in. I can speak the truth and know that I am protected. I will balance the scales myself by pointing out injustices in my life, in others. I will be my advocate. I will, I will provide myself the agency that I wasn't afforded as a child, that I wasn't given as a teenager. I will speak when I was told to be mute, when I was told to be silent, when I was told to be less. I speak now. I speak now. Even if you're scared, scared is good. That means you're doing something outside the comfort zone. Pisces, please tell me what this is. I want to support you. I support you so much. Foofy woofy. Okay, let's go a little deeper, yeah? Tell them no. Set your boundaries. Remind yourself of how powerful you are. They tried to make you think you weren't. Ooh! Say it, Pisces. I am the high priestess. I trust what I'm seeing. I trust patterns over promises and I'm clocking it all. I'm reading, I'm researching, I'm teaching myself. I am the student, I am the teacher, I am the muse, I am the creator, I am the creation, and I am the inspiration. You are the High Priestess Pisces. With your foot on that intuition, Pisces, who do you know that you need to say no to? Who is it that you need to speak up or move away from? Who is it that you're being called to move away from what is it that you're being awakened to do what is it you're being awakened to do what are you building what are you calling in there may be five people in your family or five people that you know uh there's like dynamics around you where you're like i gotta adjust this this isn't it i'm being called to step into my high priestess energy i'm being called to be a healer i'm being called to be a truth seeker i'm being called to be a seer i'm being called to speak i'm being called to stand up i'm being called to stand in my magic my humanness got me here but my divinity is what will make me fly this is it pisces guess what's at the bottom of the deck we got another double if you guessed the Queen of Swords, you are correct. Please hit that like button if you guessed the Queen of Swords. Speak this truth, Pisces. Set these boundaries, Pisces. Oh. In love, in friendships, and family and community, you have a choice. You have a choice and all the power, babe. You have a choice and all the power, babe. You are protected. You are connected. You are connection. <laughs> you are protection. I don't want to block any of these. Nancy Drew, thank you for my gift. I'm just going to use this to go follow Desec Desecrated Hearts on Instagram. Nancy Drew. Who is this Pisces? What is this Pisces? I can't believe you got this. I can't believe we got this. That's it. Trust you. Trust you. Trust you. Say it. I trust me. I allow myself to speak. I allow myself to set boundaries. I allow myself to say no. I allow myself to be reborn into this next vibration. I allow myself to answer the call and stand in my power and use my voice and my seeing and my knowing, my oneness, my heart, and my energy for good, to create more good, to call out the bullshit. All right. Now we're going to use these additional insights for Pisces. The golden children. Guys, come on. You see the sun, child, solar, child, rising, sun, sun, paternal energy, uh, masculine energy, truth, 
revelation, being exposed, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts, Pisces, the more you speak on your shit, the more you move through this healing, the more you say no and goodbye to these families, these friends that they're not aligned with your truth. They're not aligned with this high vibrational energy that's coming up. They're not aligned with it. When you say no and you honor the tenderness of your pure six of cups perspective, that pureness, that I love humanness, that I have to do what I have to do what feels right for me. I have to honor what's right inside me. When you do that, you enter a portal and these gifts get turned all the way on, all the way on, all the way on. People are like, how do I activate my psychic gifts? Again, it's through the feeling of the healing. You have to, we have to move through this tower moment. We have to feel so much depth in order to reach so much heights and star family. Pisces, this is a lot of like family healing stuff. This is like generational trauma. This is, you might've been trained and coded and conditioned to show up a certain way in the world. And there, and spirit is saying to you, they put you in that position on purpose so that you can transmute that and then stand up and speak on your story in your high priestess energy, answering this judgment call, answering the soul, this soul calling, this soul urge and pull and nudge so that you can shed light for others. You are part of a team of souls, Pisces. You are not alone. Call in support. This is it, Pisces. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, lifting the veil. High Priestess in front of that veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Look for the truth, Pisces. Speak that truth, Pisces. Stand in your gifts, Pisces. Listen to me. You're protected and you're unstoppable. Don't stop. Keep going. Tell me what this is. Let me support you. Hold my hands. I'm sending you so much Reiki love and healing. Take a big deep breath in. Hold it. And on the release, affirm. I am the seer. I trust what I'm seeing and release. I love you, Pisces. Go be unstoppable. I love you.